The Texas Longhorns just suffered an incredibly embarrassing loss, and I have three years to win them a national championship or I fail. Let's begin. No, right, here we go. Taking over for Texas, a four and a half star program, the number three team in the country, 88 overall, 87 offense, 87, 89 defense, pro style offense, and a multiple defensive scheme in the SEC. The SEC is the toughest conference in football. LeVar Ogden, aka Steve Sarkeesian. We'll see you later. Taking over as a recruiter. All right, so head coach Hookham, alma mater of Texas. We're actually going to make our pipeline Central Florida. We're already in Texas, so I don't think we really need to make a North Texas pipeline. Balance, he's going to be black because I'm obviously black, but he's going to wear a sweater. We like wearing sweaters. And they look cooler. Our goal as head coach Hook'em is to win a playoff game. We have three years to do it. Let's do this shit, boys. If I have coach points, you know where this goes. This goes straight to recruiting. If we don't win this year, we have to have good recruits going into year two. Taking a look at the roster, led by two guys, Kelvin Banks Jr. and Quinn Ewers on the offense, and defensively Trey Moore, the left end. We got three studs. They're all juniors. They're probably all gone. But there is a chance, that, even though it's an outside one, that they come back. At quarterback, we have Quinn. If he does leave, we have Arch. We're going to be fine at quarterback. Left tackle's a little bit of an issue. Kelvin Banks, a junior. If he leaves, we only have freshmen on the roster. Don't know how I feel about Brandon Baker, Trevor Goosby, or Andre Cajot. We'll have to see how we do here. Left end, we have Trey Moore, but we also have true freshman Colin Simons, or junior Justin Finkley. We're going to be fine here. All right, next up, we're going to do our recruiting board. We're Texas. We're going to go after a massive class. Right end, Darren Hills. Right tackle, Matt Jordan. Left end, Ezekiel Hurley. Quarterback, Juan Garcia. Right end, Johnny Boone. Wide receiver, Robert Ogunjuku. Middle linebacker Courtney Spicer, free safeties Cole Spearman and Deontay Tyree, middle linebacker Santiago Robledo, right tackle Ben Swain, and corner Magdalene Mickle. Let's get into it. All right, next up, we got our schedule for this year. This year is pretty easy. We don't have a week zero game. We host Colorado State. We go to number nine, Michigan. We host UCSA, UL Monroe. And then we get an SEC play, right? Host Mississippi State, have our bye. We go to number 14, Oklahoma, and that's right above a rivalry. So that's, that's a neutral site game, technically. We host number one, Georgia, go to Vanbrill. Have our second bye. We host Florida, go to Arkansas, host Kentucky, and go to number 24, Texas A&M. So it's not going to be an easy fucking schedule. But if we can navigate it well, we're going to be in the playoffs. We are going to add Jose Mo, a five-star receiver, to our board. He came available late. We're going to have to move some points around, but I think we can get it on him now. We're taking on Colorado State. I'm not going to hop into this one. This one should be cake. Even when we take down Colorado State, our brand exposure falls to an A. Interesting. As we take down Colorado State, let's take a look at that game. Beat them 37 to 20. Not the game that I expected, but we did kind of blow them out in that fourth quarter. Quinn Ewers, 296 with three touchdowns. Did Kelvin Banks did allow a sack defensively. Second half for Trey Moore, a sack for Collins and Ethan Burke. On cold half a sack. No turnovers. Tackles are spread out a lot. Okay. Do have 20 coaching points. Going to put that all to recruiting right now. Taking on Michigan, this is going to be the game of the week. It's going to be one of the toughest games we play all season. We got to have this one if we want to win a championship. All right, defensively, we got to get a stop here. Third down, if we can hold them, that'd be huge. I'm going to sit on, who am I sitting on? I'm sitting on Blackwell. Orgy motions a man over. Can we get a stop? Okay, here we go. I'm on this. Underneath, underneath, underneath. Give me the crosser. Got to come. Oh, perfect. Got the stop. Give it to me. Got it. Oh, we're going to get a block. Kick return. Get out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there. I'll run him. Get there. Let's go. Here we go. Third and eight. If we can get another stop here and maybe score, that would be huge for this defense. I'm on McBuga. Kind of come down. Underneath is mine. Oh, he's going to take off. He's going to take off. He's going to take off. Get there. Fourth and one. Great stop by the defense. Going to bring a huge blitz here. We're in. And we got to get a stop here on third and six. I'm on Blackwell. I'm going to cover down Edwards myself. Alex Orgy motions a man. Our offense hasn't gotten a first down. We're almost at the half. Our defense has been. Oh, screen. Shit, I couldn't get out of there. Oh, here we go. Okay, I'm going to sit. We got to bring spread. We can hold them to three. That'd be huge. I'm on Baron. They're going to run this ball. I'm going to bring Baron down. Here we go. Motion across. Fake. Oh, it's real. Oh, my God. Just like that, they tie the game up. Third and nine. If we can get a first down here, that would be huge. We're just on the edge of field goal range. This is not going to be an easy. Oh, sh get out of there. Get out of there. It's a foot race. Knee black. A first down. Let's go. They're in, I think they're in cover zero. I think I might have Isaiah Bond immediately. Oh, shit. I thought he was running a streak. Holy shit. Get my crosser. Get up field. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Third and four. Manageable third down. Looking ahead. I think, oh, they're bringing a blitz. They're in cover three. Okay. I think knee black is going to be, yep. My read. Touchdown! We take a seven point lead against the Wolverines. Michigan has 15 third downs, or excuse me, first downs. We have three and we're winning this game. This is unreal. Crosser hit him. Oh, thank God he went out of bounds. Holy smokes. Our defense has been incredible. We just need to hold him again. This has been a slugfest. If we can hold him to three, we'll be in a good spot. I'm on Blackwell coming across. Anything across the middle is mine. Get there! You sack! And they're out of timeouts. They're going to take their three. No way. I got another one. I got another one! We blocked two! Can we get out of there? Can we get another one? No way. 
No way! There's no way we just blocked two of them! No way! We blocked two field goals for touchdowns in the first half. What a game! Just like that, our defense needs help. First and 10 inside the red zone. I'm gonna go sit back on Makuba. This is a run. Beat him in the hole! There we go, second and eight. We have three first downs, they have 16. Our offense is sputtering. Our defense and special teams are saving. I don't know where I am. I don't know where I am, I don't know where I am. There we go, third and five. I'm on Makuba, third and five is a pass. Oh, it's in draw! We got him. Huge stop by the defense. Listen, I don't expect to, but damn it. Let's see if we can block a third field goal. Nope, can't block it. Okay. So they finally get a field goal off. Holy smokes. Here we go, offense. We got to get a first down here, get in a field goal range at least. Okay, they're in. I think they're in cover one. Get there. No, Quinn Ewers. They want me to kick a 57-yard field goal. I don't know if I... Oh, I pushed it. I thought the wind was blowing to the left. Damn, okay, I pushed it. Fourth and one. Gonna bring a big blitz here. I'm gonna go sit on Makuba in the back. I'm bringing him down. We're stopping this play. It's a run. There's no way they pass this ball. No chance. No, don't push him forward. Third and eight, we gotta get a stop here. We have to hold them to at least a field goal. I'm gonna sit on Blackwell. If we can get a stop holding a field goal, we still have a chance to win the game. If not, this is gonna be dangerous. This is gonna be very dangerous. Okay, underneath is mine. Great job! Fourth and six. We have six first downs, they have 20. They're bringing a big blitz off that left side. Honestly, can I send Bolden? Oh, I don't know if I got it, fuck it. It did work, it did work. Oh my God, I didn't think it worked. Okay, okay. Silas Bolden got out of bounds. I think they're in zone here, so I think I actually might have Golden right away. Dude, no, Will John, who is that? Someone blew up that screen. I think I'm looking across the middle here. Yep, crosser. Hold on to it. We just need a, we just need a touchdown. If we can get a touchdown, we win the game. And I'm not really looking, I'm, listen, I'm not here trying to chew clock. I'm trying to win this. Oh, they're in, this is not gonna be. Oh, it worked, it worked. Excellent blocking downfield. Get out of there, Silas Golden. Here we go. If we can blow this open before the two minute warning, that would be huge. They're in cover three. I know where my read is then. Just gonna hit my checker. Got it. Here we go. Hit my cross. Okay, I didn't even know what route I was running, so I'm glad that that worked. Nope. Bringing a blitz off that left side. I think Xander Blue might be open. Oh no, I hit the wrong button. I hit the wrong button. Why was open though? Oh my god. Okay, wait, 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 wait. If they run that same defense, oh, they're in man press. Whoa. I think Bolden's open for a touchdown here. Got him. Thread the needle. Silas Bolden, seven catches for 60 yards. My goodness. We might be moving. I might be moving too fast. That's a problem. I, I kind of want to kill some of this clock, which is a dangerous game to play, but I think I can do it. Got it. Oh, he dropped it. Oh, that was brutal. Okay, gonna run some play action. I might hit my halfback, or excuse me, my fullback, but I'm looking for knee black or Davis across the middle. Here we go. I couldn't even get the ball off. All right, here we go. Okay, this is not good. This is not good. Get there, touchdown! Can we get a stop? They they only need a field goal, so we absolutely have to get a big stop on Makuba. Oh, wait, we missed the extra point. We're not even winning. Dude, light him up. Oh my God. Light up Alex Orgy, he wants to take off like that. I'm on Hill, here we go, I have all three timeouts. I didn't even realize I had all my timeouts. No, don't get in the way of each other. Oh my God, we're so close. If we can get a stop here, I'm calling a timeout, we're gonna, get, we're gonna get the ball back. We gotta get a stop here, please, on third and three. Nothing, oh my God, nothing underneath, nothing underneath. Get there, get there, get there, timeout, let's go! Jeray Bledsoe, oh my God, the biggest play of the day. I'm on Taffy, I'm gonna run back, we're gonna get a big, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh shit, oh my God, no blocking is crazy. 20 seconds, we just need a field goal. Okay, they're gonna be in man. Okay, they're in cover three, which means that's open. The steam is always open in cover three. Time out. Okay, I don't know if they're gonna be in three or two this time. Either Golden across the middle or Bolden to the sideline. Here we go. Attack Will Johnson. Got it. A 48 yard field goal. Here we go. A 48 yard field goal. Do I have the leg? I got the leg. Let's go. Seven seconds. Holy cow, our offense came alive when we needed the most. We just need one stop. We cannot let them get in field goal range. Makuba, I'm sitting on you. I'm, I'm flying back. I'm flying back. I'm flying back. Give it to me! Oh my god, they have one second left. I thought they were going to catch that. I got so nervous. Going to sit back in quarters. I'm going to manually bring back Hill Jr. I'm, dude, we're going. Yeah, we're just going. Yeah, they can guard whoever, bro. Throw it up. Give me that. I'm manually picking this off. Give me that! Oh, okay, it doesn't matter! Texas comes in Ann Arbor! It takes down Michigan! Holy shit, bro. Our special teams and defense carried us. What a game. I, our offense did not. We didn't deserve to win that game. Our defense, Chris, does not deserve to win player of the game. I don't know who the hell blocked two field goals and brought them all the way back. That guy deserves to win player of the game. Holy shit, bro. Look at that. Look at that. I can't believe we won this game. That is unreal football. Same thing. I, I just can't believe it, dude. We just, we did it twice. Whole, uh, dude, it's, the horns are back, baby. As much as it kills me to say it, Texas is back. 10 more coach points. Gonna put this all towards recruiting. Our recruiting has gone well so far. We just gotta make sure it continues to do it. I, 
we got to make sure we can continue to recruit at a high level. With that win against Michigan, we move to the number one team in the country. That is a huge win for this program. We're starting to put guys on visits against Georgia. That's the biggest game we have all season. If we can win that game with visits in hand, we're going to have a massive class. Taking on UTSA, we should have no problem taking on the Roadrunners. We got seven more coach points. We moved to 3 0 after beating UTSA. Let's take a look at that game. We beat UTSA 34 to 10. Let's take a look at that game. Wow, we really just kind of stomped them offensively. Queen was two, only 212 yards with two touchdowns. Blocking wise, did allow a sack. DJ Campbell don't like to see that, but defensively did have two turnovers between Javion Cole and Malik Muhammad. Two sacks for Maurice Blackwell and one for Trey Moore, Alfred Collins, and Trey Bledsoe. Defense played really well. Offense. You know, okay, but defense seems to be our strong suit. Take it on UL Monroe. Again, another game we should have no problem taking them down. We get our first commit of the video, five-star right tackle Ben Swain. Love to see that. Got 10 more coach points. Let's take a look at that. Just put it to a recruiting. We know that. Let's take a look at this game against UL Monroe. Beat them 26 to 10. The offense just is not performing at the level I expected it to. Quinn Ewers, 234, two touchdowns. Gave up three sacks. Wow. Defensively played good. Javion Cole had a pick, did have a couple of sacks between Trey Moore, Anthony Hill, and Ethan Burke. Our defense is great, but our offense is, just seems to sputter. Taking on Mississippi State, our first SEC game. Again, we should be fine with them. If we aren't, that would be pretty alarming. Got some more coach points. Going to put this toward recruiting. We love to see this. See how we did in the Mississippi State game. Beat them 21-16. to Our defense... Played well. I only allowed allowed three points in the first three quarters. 247, two touchdowns for Quinn Ewers. Did give up a sack. Had two sacks from Alfred Collins. No turnovers. Just an ugly, good defensive game. Our offense has to step it up. Taking a look at the injury report, this would explain a lot. CJ Baxter is dislocated hip. This is our bye, so he would be back for our game against Oklahoma. Would you love to see that? Alfred Collins out for two months with a dislocated ankle. Losing him is going to suck. Let's take a look at who is going to be replacing these guys if they're out for extended periods of time. At running back, we're really thin. All we really have is Jaden Blue now, which is he's fine. But after that, Quintravian Wiesner, who's a sophomore, he's okay. But we're redshirting both Jared Gibson and Christian Clark. So our third string running back is Brandon Wymore, a fullback. And our fullback room is, is you know, it's pretty much just him, right? We have Gunnar Helm playing there. We also have Jaden Blue playing some fullback. But, you know, we're loaded at tight end between Amar Niblack, Black, Gunnar Helm, and Juan Davis. But, damn, we're really thin at running back. We really need him to come back. At D-tackle, we're loaded, though. Tio Lee Savea, we have Vernon Broughton. We also have Jerry Bledsoe, Bill Norton, Aaron Bryant. We're fine at defensive tackle, so we can withstand injuries here. I know it's late in the cycle, but we're actually going to add five-star right end Dante Forsett to our board. Nobody's really going after him. I think it could be a huge piece for us. Taking on Oklahoma in the Red River rivalry, this is another game we absolutely have to have. Texas uniform combos really aren't much to change, so we're just going to go with the orange jerseys. Switch it up a little bit. Here we go, boys. we got to have it. Third and five. Here we go. Opening drive. If we can get a first down here, put ourselves in a great spot. There we go. Hit my check down. Go, come back. Ooh, there we go. Nice job, Quinn Ewers. CJ Baxter back and healthy. We'd love to see that. Let's see if we can hit him with a little play action. Maybe this motion works. Going to bring Bond on a drag. Here we go. Let's see how this goes. Play action. Oh, oh my God. I had it. I had it. I got antsy because I saw that blitz. I'm going to try that again, actually. Let me see if this works this time. I, I think if they're in two, I think Baldwin in that, on that corner is going to be wide open, depending on how they cover this. Why isn't... Oh, there we go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Looking at the corner. Lead him upfield. Got it! Touchdown. Oh, my God. I was right. I read it right the first time. I just got antsy. Going to bring a huge blitz. If we can get a stop here on third and four, that would be big. I'm going to go sit on Baron. I'm going to bring him down. Oh, my God. Wow, he cooked him on the edge. Let's try some trickery with a cross screen. I like Bond. They are in cover two, so Golden's going to be there. But I have double screens. Let's see how this works. Oh, my God. That should have been a... Oh, that should have been an interception. Holy shit. The Texas playbook is interesting. I'm not used to it. So we're going to try a bunch of new things. I mean, I'm just trying stuff to see how it looks. Here we go. Okay. Switched up the route combos a little bit. They aren't in press, which means that's going to be wide open across the middle. Get out of there, Bolden. There we go. A huge first down for the Texas Longhorns. All right, here we go. Putting Golden on a drag. That's going to make that linebacker make a decision. Does he want to cover knee black? That's P.I. I got to float that ball. That's my fault. See if we can try a jailbreak screen. They're in cover three. They're in a zone. All right, here we go. Got it. Oh, my God. Nice blocking, you fucking morons. Okay. Well, they are in cover six. They're on three on the left, two on the right. Got it. Lead them upfield. Knee black. Oh, my God. I love the tight ends on this roster, but they're great. Haven't ran the ball at all. I'm going to try an outside zone with Baxter. They do look like they're loading the box, but... I think we can get some good blocks up front. Oh, my God. No, we can't. Holy shit. We didn't get anything. All right. Here we go. I'm going to try this play. I'm not, I've never done it before. It's overload on that left side. That's my read. Cut up field. Go field. Go field. Oh, you got to hold on to that ball. Going to go middle, high, low. Oh, dude. No. Wait. What the fuck? Why are, they, why are they covering this like this? Got it. Got it. Let's go. They were both open. I actually think I had two different touchdowns there if I looked right. 
Third and two. We just need a first down here. Let's see if we can hit one of these drags. Got it. They brought a blitz. I actually probably should have hit that wheel route over there on knee black, but whatever. We got the first down. We take you to the end of the first half, up by seven. They had a nice punt. Let's see if we can run this ball back or get out of the end zone. Excellent job. Let's get out of there. Give me seven. Give me five. We'll take. Okay, so I got a timeout. I'm going to call timeout here. CJ Banks has really found his form. They're bringing a blitz. They're in cover one. I think I have Isaiah Bond or Knee Black. Got it. Got Knee Black. Great job, Knee Black! Amari Knee Black has been everywhere so far. Oh, they're in. Are they in zero? They're in three. So that's faux coverage. Gonna bring this. Then. Okay, here we go. That should be. If it's real. Oh, it's faux. Oh, it's. No, it's real. Get out of there! Get out of there! Get out of there! Nice job! Call a second timeout. I think Amari Knee Black across the middle. If not, Bolden on that right side is gonna be wide open. I do have him lead him! Amari Knee Black! And I'll be honest, boys, the game not ever got any closer than that. We end up taking down Oklahoma 48 to 33. We win the Red River rivalry. Check off another test on this season. We have, I believe, two more really good games before a potential playoff run. If we can take down those two teams and avoid any upsets, we're going to go undefeated. Quinn Ewers, 311, 68% completion percentage, three touchdowns. An electric game from Ewers. We needed it. We get five-star right tackle Matt Jordan, five-star left end Ezekiel Hurley, five-star wide receiver Jose Moe. That's a big, big recruiting week. 10 more coach points, gonna put this all total recruiting. We know how this goes. All right, taking on number three, Georgia. We absolutely have to have this game if we want to win a national championship. Let's get into it. Our right, first look at Bevo and DKR Memorial Stadium here in Austin. All right, this is gonna be a tough one. If we want to win a national championship, we gotta go through the Bulldogs. We need our fans to be rocking. The stadium looks incredible. This is my first look at it. I actually think this entire game, I don't think I've ever actually played here. So yeah, this is interesting. We gotta have this one, boys. Gonna start this off on the ground. CJ Baxter, see if we can get a nice run going up the middle. Great cutback, CJ Baxter. There we go. Stay on your feet. Give me a nice 13 yard run. There we go. All right. They're bringing a big blitz. I'm going to put Knee Black on a slant, actually, if they're bringing a blitz from them. Oh, they're not. That was. Oh, my God. Identifier just lied to me. I had predetermined my read. I'm not going to lie. That was a bad. Cover four. Oh, they're in cover six. Okay. Are they in. What is this coverage? Oh, my God. Nice job by Baxter to get out of there. I'm looking for him every time. Going to run a little more play action. I think Knee Black might be open. If not, I'm going to try to hit that deep cross. Oh, bro, like, I gotta lead him back across the middle of the field. Oh, oh my God. Isaiah Bond is gonna be wide open. Get out of there. Get out of there. It's a foot race, Isaiah Bond. Let's go. Down to the five yard line, a great screen call. Here we go. I'm gonna put my tight ends on outs, I think. Give me a couple. We got two yards. Okay, not bad. Let's see if we can punch this in with CJ Baxter. We gotta get a big block. They're in cover two. Get up field, get up field, get up field. Untouched. Oh my God, they're the Longhorns. Take a seven, nothing lead. Defense, we got to get a stop. Third and two, this would be huge. And nowhere in cover one. Carson Beck is a real tough cover in this game. Oh, I got to get outside. Oh, cut back. Oh, holding, 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 holding. Yeah, holding. Offense, let's go. Third and 12. We love to see that. It's going to be a lot easier, hopefully, to stop them on third and 11 and third and one. DKR is rocking. Let's hopefully this, hopefully this helps. Underneath is mine. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Nobody stayed with the wheel. All right, third and eight. We got to get something going here. Going to put Knee Black on a drag here. I think this is going to open up stuff across the middle. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. He cooked Dalen Everett. He cooked Dalen Everett. Oh, my goodness. We take a seven-point lead right back. Yeah. Third and four. I think we're in man. I probably hand this off to CJ Baxter, but if not, yeah. Get out of there, CJ Baxter. Get out of there. Upfield, upfield, upfield. Whoop. Oh, there we go. Huge run for CJ Baxter. Third and two in the red zone. I'm going to bring a blitz off. I think they're bringing a blitz off the left side. I'm going to put Knee Black on a drag here. Let's see if this works. It does. Give me the first. Nice job, Knee Black. They're in cover one. I actually might be able to hit CJ Baxter out of the backfield, depending on how this coverage is. Oh, I'm going to hit my drag instead. Get out of there. Get up field. Get up field. Knee Black. Get up field. Get up field. And I'll be honest, boys. We destroyed Georgia. You can see we're up 35-17 going into the half. We kept it even after that. 45-27. to We dismantled the Bulldogs. I'm really excited the way we play. I don't really know if anybody can beat us. If we can do this in one year, that'd be sick. I'll be honest with you. I'd love to do it in one year. We got 10 more coach points. Going to put this all toward recruiting. Our recruiting has been excellent so far. Just want to keep it at a high level. We get five-star right end Darren Hills. Five-star middle linebacker Courtney Spicer. Just continuing to get good pieces for this team. We love to see it. Even though we beat Georgia, Robert Kunjou commits to Ohio State. So we're going to take him off our board. Colt Spearman commits to Notre Dame. So he's gone. Taking on Vanderbilt. They're surprisingly 6-1. and one, But we should be fine taking on the Commodores. We get five-star quarterback Juan Garcia. Five-star cornerback Lane McKell. Five-star... Just continuing to add to the team. We take down Vanderbilt, move to 8-0. Let's take a look at that game. Anthony Hill, two sacks, 10 tackles. A Herculean game from Anthony Hill Jr. We love to see that. 
12 tackle. Wow, we just snuck by Vanderbilt. Let's take a look at that game. 34 to 26. We really just kind of stomped them in the first half. Quinn Ewers, 212, two touchdowns. Really not having the greatest offensive season, but didn't allow a sack. And then defensively, two and a half sacks for Anthony Hill, half sack for Trey Moore, and an interception for Javion Cole. 12 tackles for him as well. I mean, come on, we're playing great football right now. We get five star free safety, Deontay Tyree, just continuing to add to our team. We love to see it. Taking on Florida, coming out of our second bye. They have to come to us, but that should be no problem. Got 10 more coaching points. Going to put this all toward recruiting. Almost completely done with our recruiting tree already, which is huge. Santiago Robledo commits to Texas A&M. We definitely don't want him if he wants to go to bum-ass Texas A&M. Taking on Arkansas. Even I know it's a rivalry game, and I know it's on the road. We should have no problem taking on the Razorbacks. I just realized I didn't look at the Florida game. We just snuck by Florida 26-21. to Quinn Ewers, not even 200 yards, no touchdowns. Didn't allow a sack. Just Quinn Ewers has not played well in this sim. A pick for Malik Muhammad. Did have a sack and a half for Trey Moore. Half sack for Ethan Burke. One for Dre Bledsoe and Brendan Boughton. I mean, yeah, we just, I mean, just a solid defensive game. Our defense has been the leaner of this team. And now we got to take on Arkansas. And now we took on Arkansas. And we annihilated Arkansas. That's good to see. 254 and four touchdowns for Quinn Ewers. Did, only, did allow one sack, but that's fine. And then had two sacks from Ty Avola Savea and Trey Moore. And then a pick from Andrew Makuba and J.B. on Cole. And we played great against Arkansas. Well, we got two really tough games to end the season. This is not going to be an easy end. All right, taking on Kentucky. This is not going to be an easy game. They're the number four team in the country. I have not actually played this Kentucky team, I don't think, ever. So it's going to be really interesting to see how they play. Even though we do good at home, I'm excited about that, but it's not going to be an easy game against Brock Vandergriff. Taking on the Wildcats here at DKR. We have to have this one, boys. Starting out on offense, they look like they're going to bring a major blitz. I actually think I'm going to send Bolden deep if they're going to blitz like that. Oh my God, I got out of there. Get out of there, Isaiah Bond. There we go. They brought a big blitz. I wonder what that coverage was. The way we're lined up, they look like they're in quarters. I think I can hit either Knee Black underneath or maybe Isaiah Bond on this comeback route. Step up in the pocket. Boom. Got it. Oh my God. Isaiah Bond is everywhere right now. I think they're in cover three. I think Knee Black is going to be... So oh, I couldn't get it out. Damn. They look like they're going to bring a big blitz. I might be able to hit over the top. Over the top to Knee Black! And Texas strikes first. All right. Here we go. I'm going to go sit on Bear in third and five. Going to come down. Yep. Right here. Nice job. Oh, my God. Fourth and five, holding to a field goal. Our defense, we need one more stop, big boys. You guys have played great so far today. I'm on Hill. If we can get a stop here, third and five, Vandegriff. Anything under... Oh, it's a screen. It's a screen. Excellent job, JV on Cole. And I'll be honest, guys. We really held Kentucky at bay. As you can see, they scored 14 of their 24 in the fourth quarter. Other than that, we were up 31 to 10 going into the fourth. We played a complete game. We killed Kentucky. And we're one win away from being undefeated in the regular season. Quinn Ewers, 303 yards and four touchdowns. He played excellent. We just got to go to Kyle Field and take on X and m That is not going to be an easy game. We got seven more coach points. We're actually, I'm pretty sure we're done with recruiting after this. Yeah, we could do entry starting interest, but I would rather put this toward motivator, at least for now. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to unlock motivator. We're in a great spot going forward. Unfortunately, even though we beat Kentucky, Johnny Boone commits to Georgia. I don't know why he'd commit there. We beat them. Taking on Texas A&M. I know it's rivalry week, but I we play a lot of games already this season. If we lose this game, we deserve to lose this game. And we fall to Texas A&M. We do make the SEC championship game against Kentucky. Let's take a look at this game. I want to see what happened here. We fall to Texas A&M 31 to 26. Really couldn't score. Oh, excuse me. We held them in check until the fourth quarter. But after that, before that, I mean, 300 yards, three touchdowns for Quinn Ewers. Defensively, oh my God, Jason, Jaden Chapman allowed four sacks. Holy shit. We didn't have, we only had one sack from Ethan Berg. No turnover. We had one pick from Jelani McDonald. Damn, okay. So they just played a little bit better than us. And they won that game. We're 11-1 and now, and we're probably not going to get the one seed, but we have the ability to play for a top four seed, which is all we can ask for. We're in our bye in week 15, and we have a litany of injuries. Uh, Kelvin Banks has a torn labrum. He's out for a week. We're in a bye, so he won't miss any time. But Trey Moore and Ethan Burke are probably out for the rest of the season. Let's take a look at that. That is not good. Those are our two best ends. At left tackle, Jaden Chapman, he's starting for Kelvin Banks. That's why he has so many sacks. We do have George O'Neal. We also have Brandon Baker, but damn, we're thin here. Also have Malik. Oh yeah, we're thin at tackles between Malik Agbo. We have Brandon Baker, Trevor Goosby. Left end, we're starting Baron Sorrell with the injuries. We do have Justice Finkley and Colin Simmons. We got a lot of good guys. And then at right end, same thing. Starting Colin Simons, we do have Colton Vasek and Justice Finkley. So we're a little thin at ends. I mean, it's going to be tough to win this championship with a team like this. Taking on Kentucky again. Here we go, boys. We're going to change the cleats to black. Oh, that looks ugly. God damn. We're going to change Kentucky's uniforms again, too. Let's see what we got. We got some grays? Okay, we'll go with the grays. The SEC championship game. This is not going to be an easy game, folks. Texas versus Kentucky. A weird game, if we're being honest. So we got to be ready for this. 
Texas, in its first year in the SEC, has a chance to win the SEC and head to the college football playoff as a top four seed. In their path is Kentucky. Can we take down the Wildcats? Will Kentucky enact revenge for a game earlier this season? Let's find out. This is not going to be an easy game, folks. Got to take down Brock Vandegriff. They look like they're in cover three. Okay, so this is the play I threw that interception on because that, that one rack was way deeper than I thought. Got him. Cross the middle. Get up field. Get out of there! Matthew Golden! Gone! A one-play thunderbomb! Oh my goodness. The first play from scrimmage, Texas scores. Holy shit. Got to get a stop here on third down. I'm on Hill Jr. Yeah, it was definitely my zone. Okay, my fault, my fault, my fault. Another third down. Gonna bring a blitz. Third and 11. Don't want to give Brock Vandergriff much time to sit back there. I'm on Makuba. I'm gonna cover this right side of the field. Oh, it's a draw. Great job by the defense. Oh my goodness. Fourth and 14. We're gonna try a 59-yard field goal. Do we have the leg? We do! Almost a 60-yard bomb! Oh my goodness! In the red zone, if we can get even a field goal out of this drive, we're going to be in great spot. I think they're in cover two. I like the wheel route late if they're in cover two man. Oh, I didn't have time. He was wide open. That's Tyrese Fairberry's second sack of the game. Damn. Got to get better protection on that left side. Going to put Bolden on a drag. I'm going to put Golden actually on a designated drag. I wonder if it eliminates his. Whoa! Dude, oh my God. Their Kentucky's defensive line is screaming right now. I think they're in cover two. I actually might have knee black. Yeah, that I probably was picked up. Okay, we're going to take a 10-point lead on a 43-yard field goal if we can drill this. I just shanked it. Oh, I drilled it. Okay, thank God. So we take a 10-point lead. Some great field goals by our kicker. Just got to keep going on offense and defense right now. And Kentucky has slowly but surely inched their way back into the game. Don't like to see that. That's There's no way that's not PI, bro. Please. We're going to try another 59-yard field goal. I don't know if I have the leg. Oh my god, our kicker is a beast. I don't even know his name. And we take down Kentucky. The game really wasn't that close. It was a very defensive battle. 33 to 20. We're gonna get a top four seed in the playoffs. I don't know who we're gonna play or what seed we're gonna be, but we take down Kentucky. Quinn Ewers, 306, 50% completion percentage, two touchdowns. An excellent game from Ewers. I want to give a shout out to our kicker because he balled out, hit three or four big field goals. We don't want to see this, bro. Get this shot out of here. And just like that, we win the SEC. We get 10 more coach points. I'm actually going to put this toward recruiting just because we're about to enter the offseason. If we manage to lose in the playoffs, I want to have increased starting interest. So here we go. Let's see how the bracket is going to shake out. We're going to get a first round bye, but I wonder where we're going to be. Matthew Golden in the SEC Championship Offensive Player of the Week. Seven receptions, 143 yards, two touchdowns. Great game from Golden. We needed it all. I win head coach of the year. Shout out to Hook'em. Our kicker, Burt Oliver, 28 for 33 and 84% field goal percentage, wins the Lou Groza Award. We love to see that. JV on Cole, seven picks, 42 tackles, wins the best DB. And we are the number two team in the country. I have 30 more coach points. Going to put this all toward recruiting. This is going to be huge. We're able to pretty much unlock the entire recruiter tree the way we want. I'm going to put 10 on motivator just in case. Obviously, I want head coach of the year. Best to be on Cole, but I also want to give a shout out to Malik Muhammad and Andrew Makuba. I'm Arne Black in the running for the best tight end. Love to see that. Our two coordinators and Shane McShane, Shane McShane, oh my God, and Paul Sicaria in the running for the Broyles Award. Yeah, we had some great help from our coordinators. Anthony Hill in the running for the best linebacker. And obviously, Bert Auburn wins best kicker. Taking a look at early national signing day, we got a big class, right? Right end Darren Hillis, right tackle Matt Jordan, left end Ezekiel Hurley, quarterback Juan Garcia, middle linebacker Courtney Spicer, free safety Deontay Tyree, right tackle Ben Swain, wide receiver Jose Mo, and cornerback Lane Mickle. We got in a couple other four stars out as well. Got a really big class. We'd love to see that. And then obviously, our staff, they were great. We're not going to fire nobody. We're the number two team in the country. We would never do that. But I do want to take a look at the playoff bracket. So we're the two seed. Oregon's the one seed. Kansas is the three seed. They win the Big 12. ACC is won by Cal. The five seed is Penn. Excuse me. The five seed is Georgia. The six seed is USC. Seven seed is Penn State. Eight seed is Miami. Nine seed is Utah. Ten seed is Kentucky. Notre Dame is the 11 seed. And USF wins the American. And they have the 12 seed. So we're going to take on either Kentucky again for a third time or Penn State. It would be crazy if we took on Kentucky for the third time, which means I'm pretty sure we're going to play them. And we're going to take on number five Penn State in the Fiesta Bowl. We love to see that. I'm glad we get to play someone new instead of Kentucky. Taking on Penn State. Let's see if there's any other color cleats. Oh, we're just going to go with the white cleats. This will be interesting. Taking on Penn State in the Fiesta Bowl. The quarterfinal game. I didn't actually take a look at how they bad they beat Kentucky, so I'm going into this raw. So we'll see how they do. The Fiesta Bowl, boys. Texas has a chance to win its first playoff game in school history. Quinny Wars can the cover athlete lead the Longhorns to a national championship. It starts here. 
against Penn State. Can we take them down? Gotta get a stop here, second and five, just inside the red zone. Penn State is marching. If we don't get a stop here, this is gonna be dangerous. Oh, we gotta get, gotta get there, gotta get there, gotta get, oh, I got stuck. Great job by our defense. Third and five, held them there. On third and five, I'm gonna bring a big blitz. I hope it can get home because if it does, we're gonna be in a good spot. If it doesn't, we're gonna be in trouble. I'm on Makuba covering the deep shot. Oh, I see him. I see him. Oh my God, I got over there. Holy shit. If we can hold the three here, that'd be huge. Hopefully we don't, hopefully we don't hit them. I wanna see if we can block this though because we blocked a couple against Michigan, but okay. Hold the three, defense held strong. Ben, don't break, we love to see it. Fourth and inches, we're gonna go for it here. They're gonna bring a big blitz. I like it. I think I can hit Helm immediately. Yep, got him. Got him. Get out of there, Helm. Stay on your feet. There we go. Oh, brother. I like this play. I do. But uh, Matthew Golden's wide open. So watch this, boys. Watch this. Watch this elite play calling. Oh, hoo -hoo! like I said, defensively, we're going to need some help. If we can get a stop here, that'd be huge. Hold them to three, maybe. I think they're out of field goal range. It's a 51-yard field goal. I'm on Hill. Anything across. Give me the... Oh, what? What? I was running back and it didn't let me... Going to bring some pressure here. I'm going to sit on Makuba in the secondary. Golly, man. How did they not give that to me? Oh, great ball by Jeraller. Holy shit. I didn't think he was going to be able to throw that needle. Damn. Going to bring some pressure here. I'm on Blackwell. I got a fly to my left. That's going to be a wide open. Oh, are they running this ball? They might run this ball. They are. Coming down. There we go. Hey, got a couple, but still, we're fine with that. I'm on Cole here. Oh, they're running this ball. Damn. Damn. Huge hit. Oh, my God. He bounced off of me. I'm bringing a big blitz. If we can hold him here on third down, that would be massive. I think we can get there. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. I don't, I don't even know how I'm guarding. He popped it out. Oh, my God. We love to see it. I'm not going to get there. Okay. So we have a one-point lead late in the first half. Ooh, holy shit, boys. This is a not an easy game. They are giving us a run for our money. Going to see if we can hit him with this touchdown. Touchdown. Amari knee black. We take an eight-point lead. Oh, my goodness. I'm actually going to run a knee black on a corner here got him up the seam oh my goodness the speed of isaiah bond is so hard to contain they're in cover one which means knee black on a drag is going to be wide open double move oh my god that was a bad ball bad read that was a bad read by me i i, I didn't see it the whole way Ooh, this is cover two cover two man got him oh cut up field give me a block give me a block nice blocking downfield isaiah bond they're just sitting in prevent oh this is quarters okay so this is a faux press which means I'm going to put a knee black on a drag or on an out route. And that should be wide open. Oh, get out of there. Marcus Golden. Oh my God. I think we're piling it on Penn State right now. And we absolutely piss on Penn State, bro. 55 to 20, an absolute blowout. Oh my God. That was not even fun. You know, it was, it was close. You can still see the scoreboard when it comes up. 450 and five touchdowns for Quinn Ewers. Oh my goodness. An excellent game from Ewers. We love to see that. Oh, receivers, look at that. He just ran through seven guys. Not really ran through, but trucked his way to seven guys. Holy shit. Oh, man, don't show that shit. We just won the damn... Look at this. We'll see this. Yeah, see, 31 points in the second quarter. We were up 38 to 13 going into the third quarter. And 34 to 13 going into the fourth. I mean, come on, guys. Like, we are here. The Texas Longhorns are here. And with that, we win the Fiesta Bowl. I'm going to take a look at the bracket. I didn't actually show it to see the first round games. Let's take a look at that now. All right, so Georgia sneaks by USF. Miami upsets or excuse me, Utah, because it's Miami. USC dominates Notre Dame, and Penn State sneaks by Kentucky. Okay, so we're either going to take on USC or Kansas in this sec in the semifinals. Got 10 more coach points, going to finish off recruiting and then start on Motivator. Just going to continue to do this. Here we go. We want to get the off-season training boost. That's a huge part about Motivator. Taking on USC in the Orange Bowl. I want to see how bad USC beat Kansas. I hope it was not that bad. Let's take a look at the playoff bracket here. Taking on USC, USB sneaks by Kansas. Utah actually upsets Oregon, and California sneaks by Georgia. So USC upsets Kansas. We're going to take on USC. This is a match rematch of the 2005 National Championship. Here we go, boys. Going to go with the white and secondary color cleats. Just want to change things up a little bit. It's kind of shocked Texas doesn't have alternate uniforms. I mean, I'm not shocked. They have some of the cleanest uniforms in football, but I wish Texas did have alternate uniforms. That'd be really cool. Taking on USC, a chance to go back to the national championship game. Got to have it. In the Orange Bowl for the first time, and I don't even know how long, Kansas, nope, Texas is taking on USC, a chance to go back to the national championship, a rematch of the 2005 national championship. All that stands in our ways, Miller Moss and the Trojans. I'll be honest, I didn't expect them to see them here. USC, not traditionally a good sim team, but fuck it. Got to take someone down. Going to try an alert bubble RPO here. I think Golden's going to be wide open. Nope. Whoa, big blitz. Holy sh Almost got her. Damn. Okay, okay. I think we go for this. If we don't kick this field, I think we go for this. They're in man, I think. Oh, they're in cover three. This might be a fake man. 
Yep. Get up field, get up field, get up field, get up field! How the hell did, did we, wait. How did we do that? What the fuck was that? Third and four at the 30 yard line. I think I'm gonna hit knee black on this out route here. Gonna switch the routes. Oh no. Gonna hit my fullback, CJ Baxter. I mean, my running back. Get out of there. Oh, that's, oh, that's blue. Never mind. That's my backup running back. Here we go. Gonna see if we can hit him with some play action. Oh, this might work beautifully. They're bringing a big blitz. Helm is gonna be my read immediately. I couldn't even get the ball out. Holy shit. All right, let's see how this goes. They look like they're in man. Knee black might be my read. I think they're in cover two man. Hit my check down. Jeez, I got suplex. Nice eight yards though, that's huge. Gonna put Golden on a drag. I think I'm just gonna have three different crossers here. Dude, oh my God, I didn't have any time. Damn, I got through. We're gonna take our three. All right, we take a three nothing lead. Not a bad first drive, but damn, their defensive line was giving us fits. How the hell did they score? They don't have a first down. Oh my God, they're in quarters. Okay, gonna put Knee Black on a drag too. Gonna hit my out route. Excellent ball to Helm. In the red zone, second and inches. I'm gonna put this ball on the ground of the hands of CJ Baxter. Let's try to pick this up. Excellent run! Nice job, CJ Baxter! A huge run! Gonna try to punch this in on the ground. There's a big hole in that left side. I think Blue can kind of sneak it in. Let's find out. There's a big hole. Give me a good push! We didn't get it. Damn, okay. See if we can hit him with the pass. I don't know if they'll be ready for it. Gonna put Golden on a drag here. I think him coming across the middle is gonna be naked. Yep. I think the ball got tipped to the line of scrimmage. Third and one at the goal. Third and goal at the one. Here we go. This has three former Pac-12 teams in it. I don't know how they're lined up. Got it. RPO to Golden. We take a three-point lead. Gotta get a huge stop here. Gotta get a stop here. Third and five. I'm on Cole. They're in field goal range, but it's not a gimme. Excellent. Excellent job, defense. If our offense can figure it out, they're in cover two on that right side, which means this being a corner would be wide open. Got him. Got him. Amari Knee Black! We take a 10-point lead. And I'll be honest, guys, they didn't stand a chance. We beat them 50 to 23. We more than doubled them up. They just couldn't keep pace with us. And we're one win away from completing this challenge in our first year. I know it's Texas, so it wasn't necessarily the hardest one, but I didn't expect it to do it in the first year. 382 and five touchdowns for Quinn Ewers. An excellent game from Ewers. He has been electric this entire postseason. We've needed him most. And just like that, Texas wins the Orange Bowl, a semifinal game, and is one win away from a national championship. We're really going to take on, I believe, Cal or Utah. So we're going to take on either a Big 12 or an ACC team. But technically, they're a bunch of Pac-12 teams. So Justice Finkley, three sacks, six tackles, two TFLs. A fantastic game from the junior left end. The National Defense Player of the Year. He's just going to continue to get better, which is huge for his development. Quinn Ewers, 382, five touchdowns. Obviously, electric game from him. SEC Offensive Player of the Week. Did we get a national one? We did. So we swept the National Player of the Week awards. Love to see that. We're taking on Utah in the National Championship. This is not going to be an easy game, folks. Let's take a look at the bracket. They took on Cal. Utah, the nine seed, sneaks by Cal. It's us versus them in Atlanta for the national championship. Going to go with the all-white jerseys and the black pants. This is the national championship game. This could be the end of it in the first year. Let's do it, boys. All right, here we go. First quarter, taking on Utah in Atlanta. is definitely closer to us than them, so this is huge home field advantage for us. Going to try the bubble. I think we might be able to get the pass off based on this coverage. Or is that, is that a big blitz coming off the edge? Yep. Give me a block. Give me a bl Oh, my God. That's a fast-ass safety. Holy shit, Tad Johnson. Got a couple yards. It was nice to see. I th I don't know the coverage here, but I think we're going to have a crosser. Got him. I could have actually had my comeback. I just wasn't even looking that way. Nice job, Silas Bolden. Going to go to the ground here. See if I can hit CJ Baxter underneath. See if they're ready for it. They are ready for it. But we're going to take a couple yards. Give me two. That's fine. Going to go back to the wide side of the field. Hit him with some play action. I think... Bolden or Golden or Knee Black is going to be here. I did not want, I wanted to throw to the flat. And I'll be honest, the throw I made was actually better, but I just needed to not make it in the red. They're in cover three. Okay. Which means that's actually going to be open. Yep. Inside release. Get a field. Nice job, Silas Golden. I think that's Golden. Is that Matthew Bolden? That is Silas Golden. Or Matthew Golden. Damn, I keep fucking missing their names. Okay, here we go. Going to look to Matthew Golden's side of the field. Come back inside. Give me a better block, Isaiah Bond. Fuckhead. Damn, they're in cover four. Okay, my underneaths are going to be naked then. Nice catch. Amo oh my God, that was a stupid ass read by me. They're in cover two. And if they're not, I think I know where I'm going with this ball already. Yep, got it. Oh my God, great throw and catch. Isaiah Bond, nice catch. They're in cover two. CJ Baxter actually might be open. I love the wheel. Got it. I love the wheel route. Nice job. Second goal at the one. CJ Baxter, we're going to try to punch this in with you, big dog. Get you the first score of the national championship game. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Give me a good push up front. Give me a good push up front. Let's go. Third and seven just at midfield. If we can get a stop here, that would be huge. I'm going to sit on Aaron. I'm bringing a big blitz. Give me I knew it the whole way, bro. This is probably man coverage, which means I'm probably just going to hand this ball off. 
Yeah. Dude, I, there was nothing for me to go. I either throw the ball and it's a pick or I hand it off and I'm cooked. All right, here we go. They're in, this is not man coverage. This is a fake zone, but it doesn't matter. CJ Baxter on the read. Nice catch, CJ Baxter. Here we go. I think I hit Helm across the middle. Dude, what am I doing? No, bro. We're doing that again. This should be a touchdown. Oh, they're in man press now? You fools. They're in cover three. No, they're not. Got it. <gasps> Quinn Ewers, no! I was about to say, that is not the time to make it, to miss that pass, brother. Come on. Oh, I don't even know what I clicked. Uh-oh. All right, well, they're in cover two, which means I'm going to put Helm on a streak. This is a touchdown. Oh, they're not in cover two, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter! They can't guard us! But apparently neither can we. We can't guard them either. So, they're moving down the field. Okay, here we go. Oh, bro. Whoa, 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 whoa. If this is a real, like, cover zero, oh, you fools. You fools! You fools! You fools! Get out of the Isaiah Bond! Let's go! What are they doing pressing on the edge? They're in cover two. This is gonna be easy. This is so easy, Quinny Ewers! Not the time to fuck this up. Oh, okay, well, this is easy. Uh, Helm is gonna be naked. And, nope, I lied. I went the corner. I went the corner. I want the corner. Bro, they're, I'm picking these boys apart. I might have Bond. That was a stupid ass pass. Why would I do that? I don't know. I'm just a stupid ass man. Gonna put Helm on a, and I'm gonna put Bolden on a nice slant. I think Bolden gets cleared by Helm. Oh no, never mind. Touchdown. What are they doing? This coverage is easy. I'm shredding it. Here we go. Third and four, just at about midfield. They're in cover one. I think if I can get the cross, Golden, get out of there. Matthew Golden has been everywhere today. I think the wheel route. If they're in man, this is. Oh, they're not. But it doesn't matter. Wow, they really read that excellently. I almost want to flip this play and run it to the wide side. I still think I hand this ball off to CJ Baxter, but I think it's a more favorable, yeah, it is. It's a more favorable run. Oh my God. Oh my God, CJ Baxter! Let's go! We take a 15 point lead. And just like that, we complete the challenge. We save Texas and we win the Longhorns a national championship. If you like this, make sure to comment down below what team you want to see me rebuild next. Or if you want to see me do something else, like and subscribe. And if YouTube thinks you're gonna like this video, find out if they're right.